Hey, welcome to my channel. Today, what I have is to show you how to calculate integral from i equal to integral of dh divided by a square plus b h plus c. And this is um, a new technique to calculate integral. And I promise this this will change your your life to calculate integral. So. To calculate this type of integral, we have to uh, follow six steps below. So first, we transform this polynomial, polynomial a square plus b h plus c. Here, we transform this polynomial to a by h plus b divided by two a square minus b square minus 4ac divided by 4a square um, in this case you can check it by yourself by using uh, a simple polynomial for example h square plus 8 plus 1 and try it this way you will see it is exactly the same so after you you transform this polynomial Really, in the step two, you have to let u equal to a plus b divided by two a. This it is mean that we let u equal to this area, and then the u we equal to the a. The u mean derivative of of this uh, of this a plus b divided by two a, and when we derivate this. Uh, constant number will equal to zero and finally we got only d8 so the u equal to d8 and k will k equal to b square minus 4ac divided by 4a square this means that we let u equal to this area so finally in the step 3 a h square plus b h plus c will equal to a times u square minus k from here this is equal to u we are, we are equal to u square and here is k we are equal to, to k so in the step 4 we simply get this uh, polynomial back to here so this this form of integral will change from i equal to integral of the a divided by a square plus b h plus c equal to 1 over a we, we get a out of integral because here is a times u square plus k so we get a of an, out, out of integral so we get 1 over a integral du divided by u square minus k the u equal to the eight. So in step five, let's test that uh, when b square minus four ac bigger than zero, then we will get k equal to b square minus four ac over four a square bigger than zero two, because four uh, a square is always bigger than zero, and Okay, so when, when we see k bigger than 0, so the, the answer of integral will be i equal to 1 over 2a times square root of k logarithmic pair of u minus square root of k divided by u plus square root of k plus c and c is a real number. So what happens when, when, when k is smaller than 0? When k is, is smaller than 0, the answer of integral will be i equal to 1 over a times square root of k bar times uh, song of u divided by square root of k plus c that is k bar equal to negative k and c is a real number and the final step we just return u and k value back to original Okay, that's all for, for this video, and I will show you a few examples in the next video. 
Ok, bye bye